lite emotional när hon sitter och läser episode. Men jag har mentioned earlier been following um, Black Clover from the beginning, right? Um, since the first episode, kind of my started the channel around that time there, and uh, yeah, it's uh, like the sentimental value definitely is there, right? Uh, definitely. Um, this is rough now, honestly. But anyway, again, I'm gonna uh, start reading the manga then. Let's get up the manga. So anyway, let's do the episode. <laughs> let's try to talk about the actual episode, but it's uh, the, the meta knowledge is definitely emotional. Um, so anyway, we finally see mom, right? We're getting Asta's mommy. Uh, Lichetta, I guess you can uh, press that. Very German name here, right? We have the Lich, we have the Nutsch, we have Liebe, it's loving, you know, in German, right? So we have uh, Liebe Dish and so on, yeah, I love you, right? So we have the whole, uh, she's like, I'm gonna name you boy, I'm gonna name you, uh, yeah, Liebe. It's like a cool name. Um, but anyway, mom gets killed by Lucifero, uh, of course, Lucifer, given a as in most other, I would say, animes and, uh, and you know, whatever, TV and so on, right? Of course, Lucifer, the name of the one of the strongest demons, right? Or like in Persona, whatever, yeah, I mean, it's, it's textbook, right? You know, the demon of power is gonna be named like Satan or Lucifer or Belzebub or something like that, right? So, of course, Lucifer then is one of the top demons, right? And, uh, of course, finds uh, Liebe then in the human world. Um, but the mom here then... She had like a very powerful power, right? Uh, that's a nice way of playing word, powerful power. But really, right, mom had this kind of like, oh, I just kill everything, right? Mom had the power to, uh, to like suck his uh, man out of him, like drain his powers. I guess it's similar to like, uh, to Henry, but like more powerful, things died. Yeah, just killed his snake by being next to it. Oh, he's dead now, yeah, like whatever, he can't hurt me, he's dead now, yeah. Um, maybe. Maybe you can inherit the powers. I mean, what we've seen earlier, right, in the anime, most characters seem to inherit the parents' powers, right? You see, you know, with, uh, for example, uh, the Noel family, right? They all have, like, water powers, most of them, except, of course, Quicksilver, but the other ones have water powers, all right? So may maybe Asta can one day unlock some kind of mommy's uh, super drain power or something. Could be something, right? Uh, probably not, though, because, I mean... Um, the low thing as possible would be that because Asta has antimatter powers, he can't utilize mom's draining powers because they kind of, you know, they turn them off, I suppose, right? Um, but yeah, maybe he can one day learn to not have. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I could see it being like a future upgrade still, eventually, making season 11, uh, 25, whatever, you know, kind of in the future something. Um, to some extent, right? To some extent. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of her powers, right? Very, very powerful. And it sets up. I guess, as we talked about, that everyone hates her. So that's probably why she's like, oh, you know, I can understand you being a demon. Like, you know, it's the same thing for me, right? You know, ever, no one, I have no friends. No one wants to be with me because I killed them, right? Um, so I killed them if, I, if, if they're next to me, right? Yeah. So she has, she's living alone somewhere, right? And that, of course, explained why she had to leave Asta. Or she left Asta at, uh, you know, uh, as a baby there. Because otherwise she was, I guess, going to kill Asta, right? So she couldn't like have her, yeah. She couldn't raise her son, right? Because he would uh, he would die from her mad, I guess. So uh, that's why she uh, uh, abandoned him. But arguably, the Asta has no and <laughs> maybe not though. You know, think about it in that sense. Think about it in that tragic sense. Mom was like, I can't raise my boy because he's gonna die from my magic. But given the Asta has no magic, you know, he has no mana inside of him, right? Maybe he would basically be immune, just like Liebe. Shouldn't he actually be immune to his powers? Um, so, uh, arguably, she didn't have to abandon him, right? Of course, of course, she wouldn't know that, but you know what I mean? Like, that that would be, you think about it. Um, and for that, man, for that sense, though, <laughs> it's like magic biology, but I guess you could argue that uh, the reason Asta has anti magic powers is because his mom was like life draining mana powers, because otherwise he would die. Before he was born, right? Or, or, right? Like, when you think about it, like, how else would she maybe even give, give birth, though? Because if she has the power to kill, like, she, she's uncontrollingly uh, killing everything around her, and uh, while being pregnant, then he would have died if, she, if he didn't have his powers, right? If he wasn't antimatic. So you could argue maybe he's, the only reason he has antimatic is because his body was like, well, this is my power I have to have. <laughs> um, Something like that, right? Something like that, yeah. Maybe. Um, 
could be a thing, man. Could be a thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, she better Asta. We know why. Dresses Liebe. You know, teaches him to be a good boy. Uh, and the snowman's the best. Like, yay, yeah, honey, let's build a snowman. And they're out having fun together. Until, of course, uh, Lucifer person kills her and, yeah, and so on. And then, of course, Liebe turns into a very angry demon. Um, and, um, I mean, it, it made sense that Liebe could leave uh, hell to begin with, because, yeah, he has the anti magic power, right? So he could just go outside the, the gate and so on. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, it's every anime is like, what about Luffy's mom? You know, every anime is like, okay, we know one parent now. What about the mommy? You know, it's just like, well, okay, what about the mom? You know, yeah, but, but what I mean is that just because her power is like, oh, I kill you if you're next to me, how did she, you know, how how, how did she get, a, <laughs> you know what I mean? Asta's dad has to have a similar power to him, right? Maybe Asta's dad also had anti matter powers, uh, perhaps, right? How, how else would Asta's uh, dad be able to, you know, be with, uh, be with the mom, right? <laughs> so, I mean, it's like, wait a minute, yeah, Asta's dad has to be like, Either Asa's dad is like very powerful, right? Because he could be with mommy without dying. Maybe he did die though, but let's assume he didn't. Very black widow of her. Or Asa's papa has a similar power, right? So he would be a friend, a friend, a friendship bracelet. Um, but uh, I think this is not a good scene, right? But I would say it was somewhat uh, was predictable, you know, being that it is uh, Asa, right? I was like, there's no way it's gonna enslave the demon man. You know, he's gonna be like, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, Asta's gonna be like, oh yeah, you're my best friend. Tomodashi Nakama now. You know, there's no way Asta's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, you're right, Notch. I'm gonna make him my uh, my servant. Yeah, uh, there was no way Asta be like, no, 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 we're best friends instead. Uh, but I kind of love it from you know, from Notch, right? Being like an in, in the side enemy is like, this is stupid, man. You you you, you do the you do all the stuff. Don't don't do the friendship thing. This is stupid, right? Uh, but we as the enemy watcher, we know that while well, doing the friendship thing. It's gonna make them have more power shots. They're gonna be the same powers and the friendship powers gonna make them even stronger when they collaborate. Right? So <laughs> we know Asta, he's playing the anime correctly. He's like, man, I don't know. Tomodashi power up, Nakama power up. Way more Tomodashi. You know, power of, you know, magical friendship and so on. Yeah. Friendship is magic and all the good stuff. We know Asta is gonna win by doing this thing. Uh, but seriously, though, seriously. I mean, of course, it's very anime. I mean, it's very shown on anime that you have the Nakama power up, right? Uh, but certainly, you know. This thing here is different than what Natch has, right? He has, like, you know, contracted them down to him, right? And the other, of course, demons, like Dante and so on, the other, you know, uh, demon users, they have another, you know, mixed ray, right? So, so Asta is most likely the only character in the anime world having this kind of, like, friendship demon, right? So, you know. So, yeah, that that is probably... I mean, it, it makes sense, I would say. Even though it's anime cliche, like Lawrence said, it, it definitely is anime cliche, but I think it makes sense, right, that, uh, that Asta's uh, power will be different, right? Having an actual, like, friendship with the demon. Well, everyone else is either, like, contracting them or, you know, some kind of weird, I don't know, possession slash I like being possessed, right, or whatever. Here's more like, we're best friends, and that means something. Um... But yeah, like yeah, I said it right there. Daddy has to have either insane amount of mana or be immune to <laughs> mommy's powers, right? Go right, Noelle is very, very tagged. She really wants to train and so on. So you see everyone training. Of course, Melona again. Melona's training scene. I was like, yes, anime. The only one character that we see without anything on her. Yes, it's Melona. We see her in like a mech monster. <laughs> We get that onset Melona again. I was like, oh man, they, they know what they know what we want, man. They know who's the ultimate waifu. Uh, but anyway, somebody last here then. Um, yeah, for the last episode, here. um, yeah, they're gonna train, they already know that. And um, as I said last week, I mean, there's some kind of you know, we're gonna teach these people here some sort of secret elf magic, whatever, right? They're gonna learn some some elf stuff. I do find this thing I said last week, I said about it in the course, that I find it a little bit silly how Noelle and so on, right? They train for half a year, right? With the queens and all that. But it really feels that they're gonna come out way stronger, right? So for six months, you know, Noelle was like, I'm level 10, and now I'm level 12 or something, right? And now they're gonna go in here and be like level 20 and come out. Yeah. If it's a little bit like, thanks to Fana and so on, Noelle is probably gonna be like level, you know, 10,000 higher in two days than in six months, right? So. I guess we're gonna read and we'll see the movie what happens, but yeah, if it's a little bit like they're gonna really, really power up here, right, in, in two days, uh, that, that feels to me pretty, yeah, 
very anime, I think, you know. And the thing is that, I mean, Dragon Ball and Bleach and so on, they have the whole, we, cannot, we, can, we can train a time chamber thing. <laughs> but, but, but here, I guess, it's gonna train for two days and still be a lot stronger. But whatever. So, left thing too, but. Um, what I am wondering more about, though, is that after we see this in here, right, we do see, for example, Vanessa and, you know, um, so on. And she's like, I'm gonna get stronger too. And then we actually see Magna finally, he's been hiding, and also see left and so on, right, and see the older Black Bull members. And then I wonder what they're gonna do. You know, I wonder how they're gonna progress Vanessa or uh, Grey and so on in like two days. Like, what are they gonna do? Like, they don't, they don't have any super elves to train with, they don't have like a demon to team up with. So, yeah, so I don't know how they're gonna motivate that, but I suppose that we're gonna see, you know, a stronger Vanessa, whatever, stronger. Um, yeah, Grey and so on, after these two days too here, but, I, yeah, but that I will say, I really don't see what they're gonna do to improve so much. I mean, obviously Magna could return and be a lot stronger, because he hasn't seen what he's done, right, but, uh, like, you know, what are, like, Gouch gonna do in two days? <laughs> um, you know, see all the characters, right, see, yeah. Again, the Melona scene, clearly the best scene. <laughs> and in the end, though, we see, of course, uh, the return of the Fallen Wise Captain. And this, uh, this I liked a lot, because this makes a lot of sense that he will return. Uh, I mean, obviously he likes Vangans, you know, they're both elves and so on. No, but you know, he returns, right? Uh, and I, li I, li I like the last scene here because uh, obviously you know lost. Uh, and uh, he had a power of, uh, he has the power of bone, right? And spatial magic. So I like the last scene here, definitely. That Langus appears. And Langus is like, hey, so you lost to a space user with like teleporting and stuff? That's kind of my thing. So let me teach you how to fight spatial magic, right? So. Uh, yeah, I liked it. The interesting thing in that Lang is like, I'm gonna train you to, you know, how you, yeah, how you control and behave, uh, or I don't know, how to defeat space, spatial uh, magic stuff, right? Uh, even though uh, what we saw, his magic was more like his brothers, but um, <laughs> but whatever. I like this team up. It, it makes sense that someone's gonna teach him how to fight him. Because um, as I mentioned, right, just, yeah, like in these two days, they have to all improve, right? So this, at least, is like. Okay, Yun is going to improve in two days, uh, but, it, but it makes sense because the guy's going to train him is Langris, and he's going to train him specifically to fight space spatial magic, right? So, so, so I liked it, right? We are again, uh, so you talked about like, Vanessa and Grey in two days. What, what, what are you going to do? Uh, just train? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they don't, they don't, they don't even have an elf to train them, yeah. They have no space guy to train them or elf to train them. They're just going to improve anyways. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I mean. I, I don't know how, how, how they're going to motivate that the other black boots get stronger if they don't have a specific like trainer to teach them stuff, right? The guy is gonna do exercise for two days and be stronger. I don't know if it doesn't make any sense, but I guess we're gonna see maybe. Or maybe they just don't even have any screen that uh, But yeah, it's the end of the, the anime. Mm. <sighs> but yeah, that's it I guess, right? Um, that's it, right? Langus appears after we see Melona's assets and um, yeah, that's the last episode. Um, mm, sentimental value. It's gonna be really weird, as I mentioned, not being able to, uh, you know, watch Black Clover every Tuesday. Be doing it for so long. Um, but um, what was I saying? Yeah, we're gonna read the manga, of course. We're gonna read the manga. Uh, start up next week, uh, on Tuesday. What's my thing? What's my thinking now? Now read the manga and. Well, it's only like 17 chapters. I don't, don't, don't want to read them all at the same time. Um, but yeah, next week I'll probably do yeah, a reaction of like the 10 chapters after this thing, five, 10 chapters after this, and you know, then do one more of those. And then I guess it's gonna be like a, you know, a manga, yeah, a manga reaction channel suddenly. No, but I mean, I do manga, I do all the stuff too, right? You know, like for example, Take a Titan and um, One Piece and so on, right? So yeah, of course, uh, nothing new in doing manga reaction. But yeah, gonna get in there and. Um, uh, see what happens. <laughs> I, I just say one thing again. I mean, I wish, of course, I wish we had like 500 chapters left. I can just sit and read and read and read and just go, you know, just be like, oh, all this, uh, <laughs> this manga, right? But I guess I probably, unfortunately, yeah, we're gonna probably do like one or two, you know, read, read throughs. And uh, um, uh, I'll say one thing. I was thinking about doing reading all of it yeah maybe maybe do that but i don't know maybe i should read all of it that's one thing i think about maybe, maybe i kind of want to just keep reading that to see what happens but maybe maybe i will read in between that uh, but i don't know if i get to react to review everything in between but it's kind of interesting 
from a side note, uh, I always think it's interesting to, you know, compare manga and anime. Oh, here the Onsen episode. Well, look at the man's oh, pipes are very different here than manga. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna compare. I'm gonna compare for for race purposes. I'm gonna compare the Onsen episodes to the, to the manga episodes. Uh, but to some extent, though, I mean, I don't think Bakelor has that that many issues with that. But in some anime, which is manga, right, there's a lot of like, oh, they removed this character or something, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, especially, I think, in older animes, when you kind of skip over a whole arc zone, you're like, what happened to this arc? <laughs> like, Promise Neverland! It's like, what happened to this whole arc here? It's kind of weird. Um, uh, but I would subscribe, so I'm going to watch next week then, and do some manga stuff instead. And, uh, of course, today is also ending of uh, Slime. Um, that has a part two coming in three months from now, though. And tomorrow is the ending of like Real Healer and so on, right? So, you know, ending week, and uh, of course, new animes are back, like Michael Demon and so on, right? That are uh, filler episode um, last <laughs> Saturday, but some more new animes coming back, which is also exciting. I think, you know, set him a bit lower. Uh, and also, of course, one thing, which is they have openings, right? It's almost like the worst thing. Where's the goddamn openings? That's like the worst thing up here. I gotta have it, man. I, I, Normally, right, next Tuesday we have like a new badass opening in Big Clover and be like, this is the best opening this season. <laughs> it's like, what music we listen to now? Uh, but yeah, that that is like, oh my god, man. You're so used to always having the amazing Big Clover openings every <laughs> goddamn season. Um, that feels weird, man. That, that feels weird, everyone. That feels gonna be weird not having like the Black Clover opening coming. And uh, there was goddamn masterpiece. Every one, every goddamn one of them. Um, that's gonna be weird. That's gonna be really weird. Almost weird not having the anime. It's like not having the <laughs> the openings is being the best opening every season. Um, uh, that's gonna be very confusing. Um, but yeah. But anyway, see you guys. Have a good day. And uh, yeah, next uh, reaction will be slime. Then in about like three hours from now. Uh, last episode here. Uh, so see you guys.